Hey up my dorks, and welcome back to Sharpie's Koi. Right, what I'm gonna do, I wanna try and get my pergola sort of wrapped up like a greenhouse. So I've mentioned it before on past videos, I used to cover my pond years and years ago. What I did, I made a frame, bubble wrapped it, had about three or four layers of, layers of bubble wrap, uh, put them on a frame on a slope as well so the water would run off and cover the pond. Obviously, the winters, they're not as cold as, as they were. And I think I'm going back about 10 years when the winters were probably as bad as there was and that's why I covered my pond. I know it didn't heat it, but obviously it did keep the wind chill off. But I've not done it since. Um, never really had any issues. It's only really the winter just gone, but that was more down to the waste, I think, build up. Which, as you know, which we won't go into right now. But I think what I want to do is try and get some of that polythene wrapping and try and wrap up my pergola. I've got some tarpaulin I can put on the roof as well, but I've got to try and work out how to try and get it on a slope. So if it does snow and stuff, it doesn't doesn't weigh it down. I might have to get some uh, struts across here as well, some noggins. But I've got some of that polythene wrapping. Now, this can be probably a bit of a trial and error because what I want to do, see, see these? Are those push, them snap buttons, whatever they're called. I put some on because I did made a start. So the idea is I can put the polythene wrapping on. Let me just turn you around so you can see. Put the polythene wrapping on and if I need to get in, all I've got to do is like detach the side of it and I can get into wherever, especially when I'm doing my backy clean and things like that. Um, obviously I've got that up because that was just to stop the dust coming onto the pond when, obviously with the uh, extension build. Can't go too close because I've got the Alexa on and music's playing. Hang on, Alexa, pause. There you go. Right, so obviously this was just on, just to stop the dust coming on when all the, the builders were doing whatever they were doing. It works, it works, it doesn't, it doesn't, but it didn't cost a lot, so I've just got to work out how to stop it flapping at the bottom. I might have to get a bit of wood just across from post to post. So I can attach it to the bottom that will stop it from flapping. Obviously, if the wind gets to it, it's all going to rip off, which we don't want to do. So it might work, it might not. I've got some tarpaulin stuff, some clear tarpaulin to do the roof with. So just in the middle of a field to clean. Give you an update on the new fish, guys. Obviously, the last video was the new fish I got from the father-in-laws. They're doing really, really well, and they're already hand-feeding. The Achiever's not hand-feeding yet. I think he's the only one. I oh, and the shower. He's not hand-feeding either. But yeah, they're doing well. Obviously, the temperatures are dropping. But the Ginrin Shag. Where's the Ginrin Shag? Here, look. Marjorie. First one. The first day. Oh, the second day, sorry. Came up and started hand-feeding. Fantastic. The Kajaku as well. Hand-feeds. Loves its fish. It's a greedy fish, this one. So, Grand Pops, if you're watching. Oh, and the uh, um, Goromo as well. Them two are the greediest out of the bunch. Honestly. As soon as I put the food in the feeding ring, they are up. They are up. But yeah, no, they're all doing really, really well. So, really pleased. Obviously, this is going to be... Uh, just to keep a watch for line and make sure they're not going to... Uh, get anything but I don't think they will honestly honestly I don't think they will look at the key my see will up still doing well healing up um, not that you can really see anything through the reflection but even my Benny Kikikikoru and of course there's the Sankey with no dorsal well it's fair it's dorsal fin doesn't look too bad Right, so what I'll do, while the Nexus is boiling up, we'll probably get this one down. I don't have to start here actually, because I've already put some push buttons on. So we could probably make a start here. That'd be easy to do that. So you can see the idea behind it. Like I say, this was just the, 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 the trial one. So I think it, it needs, I didn't have enough at the, at the time, but obviously I've ordered more and I've got them in now. So obviously it's got to be tighter. So I think obviously another one in the middle of each one I've done so far. Um, obviously down the sides as well so I've cut it snap buttons on like I said it, I think what I've got to do is just get a bit of wood across the bottom 
so I can attach a couple to the bottom that will just stop it flapping in with the wind and then when I need to come in all I've got to do a bit of a faff but I'm often going to be doing this over winter anyway let's come in and get to where I need to get so that's the idea behind it I've just counted these I'm not going to have enough of these to go all the way around today so I've ordered some more but they're coming off Amazon so they'll be here tomorrow anyway so what I might do I'll get this down and I can do this side and I'll probably get this side done as well which means then I can just leave that one for now because that's quite sheltered anyway and of course I'll leave this bit for now and then when the rest of the snap buttons come we can get the rest on as well current outside temps is 12 degrees current pond temps 10 degrees so we're two degrees less than the outside temperature in the pond I mean the fish to be fair they're still feeding they've wolfed down the breakfast this morning there we go we've got a greenhouse I think this one just needs to be a bit tighter but I've run out of uh, these snap button things so I think I can definitely get that just a bit talk I don't want it too tight because obviously if a big gush of wind comes it will just rip it around those but it's just a bit too much slack in there this one's just loose at the minute just because I've got my dechlorinator in there but all it does I'm just pushing on oh, I've got some time pouring on the top but this really is temporary because as soon as it rains the water's just going to sit on it let me take you up here so you see what I mean so I can't get it tight enough at the minute so as soon as it rains it is just going to sit in between the the um, the, the, the pergola straws you know what I mean the, the joists and obviously then here because my pond is obviously l-shaped it's a square town pauling I've hooked it on here but again as soon as it rains it's just going to sit there then it's probably just going to run and probably drip down here <laughs> just me trying to be a cheapskate and save money not getting polycarbonate sheeting <laughs> because we have polycarbonate sheeting I wouldn't have that issue in the first place it's lovely and cosy in here I'm sure the mind your own business is going to appreciate it especially when I've got the sheeting behind it as well and obviously then on this side at the minute we've still got an airflow so the wind will still obviously come through here and hopefully it won't damage it for now in the meantime just until I get the next push clips the snap button whatever they're called to, to go on there and then on here and then I just need to get some wood which can go from post to post and then I can clip the bottom on to stop that wind from coming in but I think I'm sure the builders won't mind me taking three bits because they've got the roof panels at the top you know the what goes across the roof of the tiles so if I can use three of them off the builders that'd be perfect because they'll be long enough as well so I bet they're about four meter length I'll ask them because I won't just go and do it because <laughs> they'll probably look at it tomorrow and think hey there it is right then my ducks it's actually a week later I'm gonna have to make some changes I've took the front off it got really windy during the week and it just started to rip around here the sides weren't too bad so I've kept them on obviously with some plant pots in front so what I think I'm going to do these uh, battens I've got that the builders let me have you can see where I've done that one but I want to do it further down and I can attach these onto it so if I need to get in I'm also going to do as well, I think, then one down the middle, or maybe two, especially on the larger sides, because then I can sort of unclip it and then attach it to the batten. That makes sense, and it will stop that from being pushed that way, because that's what, of course, is ripping it with the wind. Like I said, the size is not really too bad. The tab has been fine. Obviously, there's puddles of water sat on top there but it's quite talk so it doesn't really sink as much in fact it rained last night so you can see okay maybe it does drop a little bit um, I might even get that corrugated stuff actually so I can then put some wood across the top so the corrugate is at, at a slope 
I mean here is not too bad but obviously it does slope uh, it does go quite far that way so I've got to get it quite high to do the slope I'm not sure how that's going to work I might have to just think a bit more on that but yeah then so here again water across the bottom strip of wood down strip of wood down you can unclip it and clip it to the batten of wood I think that'd be the better option. It's got quite mild this week, so it's not gone cold anyway, so the fish have been fine. The pond is still seeing about 12 degrees this week. It's still eating really well as the feeding ring. The wind's picked up today as well, so it's probably a good way of testing it. So now the wind can't force itself against it as much. Now I've put them in. So what I'm going to do, we'll get these snap buttons, um, just the screwing part down here. So the idea is if I need to get in, I can unclip it this side and all I've got to do is clip it to that and the same with this side so when I need to get to the backy for example unclip it and we'll clip it to that you know on warm days as well might do something different on this side in fact now I'll probably do the same here but I'll, I'll do three battens down because obviously this is the longer part but at least now it stops the wind coming against it so if I do I'm not sure if I only need one on this side and again, I may as well do two still because it'd be stronger. And then the same theory we can unclip it, clip it on, unclip it, and clip it on. All right, I've just ordered some more of these because before I obviously put all the battens down, you can see where it's been ripping. So we can just redo them. Um, but yeah, so them ones are in. And already it's helping, like I said, the wind has picked up today. I know the wind's probably going to get worse over the winter but again we'll just see how we go that's all right i've actually done around the corner as well that's all done i'll just put a baton across the bottom just to stop it flapping but it's a lot easier to store so where before i had the frame it was so hard work to store over the summer but this all i've got to do is unclip the battens i'm going to number them fold up all the polythene the clips can obviously stay on jobs are good in store them in a box and then what we'll do tomorrow is then get this one clipped on as well but I actually might leave this one just for the time being just while it's got mild again just lets a bit of air through um, and then I'm, I'm going to put three buttons so I'm going to do one two three and the same as always where we can then just unclip it to the end ones so the middle one can stay as it is because you only need to get to the sides where the skimmer is and obviously where the backy is. So mind your own business, that should hopefully be okay this winter. I've got to cut that back and look at that one. Okay, so this next one is now on. Get the water across the bottom. Hopefully you can hear me because it is windy today, so it's a good way of testing this. And I've got three strips of wood. And they're all numbered as well, so when I come to take them off after the winter, I know exactly where they're going to go when I come to put it back on again. But obviously, it's, I mean, it's got really mild again. I mean, I'm in t-shirt at the minute, it's t-shirt weather. So I'd only have to pin this back at night time for the time being, I think, the temperature's drop. The only problem is with how windy it is getting, the wind is now getting in and it is pushing against it. But, but we'll see. End of the day, it's been all right so far. Um, I'm going to get another thermometer as well so I'm, I can just pin like to the inside of the pergola post or something just so I know how warm it is in here over the winter compared to what it is outside and yes I know it's not going to you know, heat up the pond but it's going to stop the wind chill I can already feel the humidity and I'll stick my head in here I'm surprised the camera's not steaming up and I mean, yeah, it's not complete because what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that corrugated stuff, I think, across the top. It'll stop the water from sitting on the tarpaulin. So that's it. So as an example, let's do this side. All I've got to do is unclip them. Oh, there's one button gone already. That was my fault because I didn't reattach that one in the first place. One more at the bottom. I ain't gonna do every one. This is just literally show you. Clip it back on there. 
That's the one that needs replacing. Put that one on there. See? All well, you gotta do at night time. Great stuff. Right then my ducks, I'm gonna leave it there. See how we go, but I think it might just do the job. But we'll, we'll try, you know, it's a cheaper way of covering your pond. Plus it's gonna be easy to store. All I gotta do then after the winter is store the bits of wood in my shed across the bars at the top, fold up all the polythene sheets, box them up. A lot easier than to store covers. Um, and we'll see how we go. No, my luck, we probably won't even get a cold winter and it'll be really mild. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, like I say, once I get a thermometer in there, then at least I can see what it is like in there compared to what it is outside. Obviously, I've got thermometers in the water anyway. It's currently still 12 degrees. Um, I think they should keep a lot of the, uh, the frost away from the uh, back heat and like me mind your own business, that kind of stuff. Definitely, it's going to keep the frost from the water. Um, so it should help with those fluctuating, fluctuating temperatures. All right, so we'll leave it there then, my dogs, and of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Give it a thumbs up, hit the bell to get notifications, share if you want to, and we shall see you next time for another video from Sharpest Koi. Cheers, my dogs. Bye.